Hello, my name is Gerald Crotty and I am the technology teacher in Skullborough, Kentucky. So welcome to my technology room. In this presentation we go through the subject and we'll also take a little walk around the technology room and I will show you some past students work. Technology is a relatively modern subject. We introduced it here in Skullborough at uh, junior start level in 1993. And in 2008, we were one of 40 schools um, selected around the country to pilot the brand, the brand new Leaving Cert technology subject. Since then, technology has become very popular in Skullborough. And the reason for that is we have a wonderful technology room, very well equipped. Um, it's bright and cheery, and students generally enjoy the experience of learning how to design and build projects. So technology is a design-based subject. And that means that during the course of their learning, they'll be given a design brief, and they'll be asked to design a project and produce a support portfolio, which will map their learning during the design process. It is a subject that, I suppose, requires students to be creative. It also challenges them in higher order thinking. So in other words, they will be creating something from nothing. And this is a skill that can be enhanced during the course of their time in the technology room here with me as their teacher. It's what I call a student-friendly subject in that for their junior cert and for their leaving cert, the students get a design brief from the State Examinations Commission and they're given six months to design and make a project and produce a support portfolio for that project. At junior cycle level, this work is worth 70% of the total exam, and at senior or leaving cert level, it is worth 50% of the total exam. Therefore, students are giving a great chance once they work constantly over that six month period to gain a good grade. So, what do students learn in technology? So they learn skills like problem solving skills, which teach them electronics, how to design circuits and how to build circuits, how to solve circuits, how to troubleshoot circuits. We also teach coding and programming. Students will also learn how to sketch and how to render sketches. And as part of the design process, we will also teach them and upskill them in computer-aided drawing. And the software package that we use is SOLIDWORKS or this CAD uh, module within uh, applied technology at junior cycle and technology at cycle level. They will also learn some material science. Project management would be a big part of it, how to meet deadlines and how to manage their time effectively. So technology is a modern syllabus that aligns itself with what is happening in the real world of design and manufacturing. And we make it as realistic as possible inside here in the technology room, which we also call the creative zone. So now I'm going to take you on a little tour of the technology room, uh, and this will really showcase our students' work. And my students, I must say, never cease to amaze me with how creative and innovative they are when they complete their design challenge. So this is the front part of the technology room. And in here we have 25 computers where students can log in and use software packages such as SOLIDWORKS for computer-aided drawing, Circuit Wizard for circuit design, electronic circuit design, uh, Genie Design Studio for programming and coding. Then we use things like GAN Project for project management. And you can also see on the wall here some of past students' work. So from their sketches to their SOLIDWORKS drawings. Along here we have some programming and coding. And down along here, we have some further examples of students sketching and SOLIDWORKS drawings. 
Again, we call this the technology student sketching wall of fame. And students like to see their name up there. Over here we have the technology hall of fame. And this would be where students have received an A1 in the old days or a H1 in technology. Also here we would have students who got national awards for the best technology students in the country at Leaving Cert level and at Junior Cert level. The second room in the technology suite, also known as the Creative Zone, and this is where students build their projects. So I'll just do a quick walk around here to show you some of the equipment. So along here we would have the soldering stations and this is where students would solder their projects. So from a simple dark sensor project here, which students would build in second year, to a more advanced programmable circuit board here that students would build at junior cert level and also at senior cert level. So we would have a range of power tools, pillar drills, vacuum forming machine, scroll saws, some hand tools. And then along this side of the room, we have what we call the CAD CAM section, computer aided design, computer aided manufacture. So here we have a CNC router, a TechSoft MDX40. And this can be used for building printed circuit boards. We would have three 3D printers. And again, the 3D printers have been a wonderful addition to technology design for my students in that it removes restrictions. In other words, students, once they come up with their idea, it is possible to design it once they can design it on SOLIDWORKS. We also have a laser cutter. So again, this would cut out the parts for the student projects. So on this table here we would have a range of junior simple little phone holder to a little Christmas tree in first year, some little timer circuits in the second year, a little egg timer there and a shower timer. And then at junior cycle level, students get a design brief. So these ones here were made by two of the girls uh, in junior cycle technology class, and they were asked a random number generator for their local club. So again, these projects are programmable. And this will pick your numbers randomly by simply pressing the push to make button. Another year, students were asked to design and make a vehicle that was transverse over soft ground. And this girl made wonderful project, the tank. So you can see the control box here. So it has forward, reverse, it'll turn left and right. It has an automatic uh, LDR here, which would sense darkness so that the lights will come on automatically. It has a little potentiometer here, so that when we turn it, the turret will spin. So the use of a servo motor there, controlled by a potentiometer. So pretty advanced programming there for a junior cert student. So it has forward motion, has reverse motion, turn left, turn right. At Leaving Cert level, students receive a design brief, which is what we call an open brief. 
Um, this year's or last year's topic was uh, a brief based on exploration. So this girl made a helmet that would be used by a mountaineer. And this helmet has an altitude sensor, temperature sensors, it has an LDR, and it also has a liquid crystal display screen here that comes down in front of the eyes of the user and alerts them when they're at a certain altitude so they can turn on their oxygen, etc. This is an autonomous car made by one of the boys and this car has motion sensors front and back and this will drive itself. It also has uh, an LDR which will sense when it gets dark so the lights come on automatically when it gets dark, etc. This student here uh, again designed a car that would slow down when it gets wet. So there's a speed limiter in it that's programmed and this will allow the car only to drive at a certain speed in wet conditions. So again, certainly an autonomous car. It understands its environment and will only allow the driver to go at a certain speed. Well, by one of the girls, and this was explorations in medicine. Okay, and this is an intelligent walker, um, and this would be maybe for a person who has had a hip replacement. Um, and again, it has a temp or a pressure sensor here, so that if the person is putting too much weight on the wrong side, then a message comes up here that tells them to redistribute the weight um, so they won't put pressure on the U hip. Also. It has a little counter here that will measure how far the patient has walked. And again, a positive message is printed here, programmed in to the LCD screen. This project here was made by one of the girls. And again, this is one for mountaineering. And again, in the event of someone uh, having an accident up the mountain, this is again an autonomous vehicle that will drive up the mountain and relay pictures back to the rescue team uh, via um, a camera. And this, as I said, is autonomous. This has two programmable boards inside in it. It also has an, L an LDR, which will turn on the lights automatically so the camera can see the picture. And again, an excellent project. And you can see here, the SOLIDWORKS drawings that the student would have had to prepare to make such a project. And again, some of the parts here are 3D printed, some of the parts are laser cut, and I mentioned previously, by removing restrictions, students can become very, very creative, and they never cease to amaze me with the wonderful projects that they make. So some other projects here. So this is a project made by one of the boys <coughs> from last year's Leaving Cert. And this one actually has a nap that the student designed to control the project. So what I like about the subject is all students get the same brief, but they take ownership of the brief and they produce a project that is literally very, very special to them and unique to them and totally different from the student that's working alongside them. So here's one for undersea exploration, a la Jack Cousteau. And then this is for Arctic exploration, a little hovercraft with some nice detail there. And again, autonomous, self-driving, with lots of sensors.
So to summarize, technology is a student-friendly, project-driven, design-based subject where students are encouraged to maximize their potential in a top-class technology learning environment. And while designing and creating a project to a very high standard is challenging, once it is completed, students' self-confidence, self-esteem, and well-being is enhanced. The skills that students learn during their exposure to technology are transferable to third level and indeed life in general.